Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane, this video is part of my collection series, and today we're going to be talking about my current Philips CDI collection. Philips CDI was released in 1990, and by no means did I pick it up back then. I knew what it was, I knew it was a, a interactive machine, and that it was mainly going to be based around entertainment. Now, the, eventually they did come out with video games for it, and back in 2001, I think I picked one up for dirt cheap because the used video game store that I worked at was not even interested in picking one up even for like 20 bucks from some guy. And I told the guy that I would give him 20 or $25 for uh, the system and all of the peripherals that he had and all of the games that he had. And he took it because, well, let's be honest, back in 2001, no one else was going to touch this machine. And it took someone crazy like me to actually pick it up. So without further ado, I'm going to hand, hand you off to the other video and here's my collection. So here is my Philips CDI collection. First up we have uh, ABC Sports presents the Palm Springs Open. It's a golf game, fairly obvious. Uh, it is in an aftermarket case, but I went to the cover project and I printed this one off and it's fairly nice. I'm very happy with it. Then we have Battleship. It's another really fun game. Probably the best game that I have on the CDI to experience. Has I have the slip cover and then you press down here and it pops open. Uh, I don't have the instructions, but I'm not so sure it had instructions. There's the disc itself uh, in this really long case. But it's a fun game. I believe it is two player. Um, so, just a little bit on the back. And all of these games I actually got with the CDI when I purchased it. Um, so, here is CD Shooter. Uh, it's a shooting game. I I think there's a light gun. I can't remember at this exact moment uh, for the CDI. There's the back. Slip covers in a little bit rough shape. Ah, uh, yes, the advertisement stuff. Um, and then the disc. Let's see if I can get this advertisement stuff out of here. Bear with me for a moment. I will be getting this out despite it's wanting to fight me the entire time. All right, it's acting like it wants to tear. There we go. So this is just an advertisement stuff. There's not really too much craziness going on in here. Just a catalog of the games, no real, uh, instruction manual that was offered with this, or at least I don't have it. Um, there, there could very well be an instruction manual. Let's put the slip cover back on. Here's a good one. Compton's Interactive Encyclopedia. Yeah, this is, um, this is part of the education part of the Philips CDI. And this one definitely came with the system when the person bought it uh, because it's not for resale. And then there's more advertisement, the registration card. Oh, we do have the instruction booklet with this one as well. It shows you how to navigate through everything, which is fairly nice. And then there's the disc. You can see the reflection of me in the disc wearing my Retro Rivals t-shirt. 
oops, let's get that a little bit in there better. And then snap it closed. I like, I like the long cases for these uh, because they felt more substantial. They're sturdier than normal. Uh, here's the one game I do not have the slip case for, and I wish I did have it. Um, it's Escape from Cyber City. This is, uh, goodness, this is based on an anime, um, the Galaxy 999, I believe. Uh, again, with the advertisements. Um, nope, no other booklet. And here's the disc. Um, this is a... Uh, this game is basically just quick time over and over and over again where you're trying to escape this city full of robots and and there's lots of times where you just die over and over again and it's it's a lot like the Dragon Slayers game. Here's another here's a game that was in the small form factor, just a regular jewel case. Uh, they do love their slip covers, though. And then it's Kingdom. What is it? Uh, Kingdom: The Far Reaches. I'll show the back of this. At the back. Yep, the back is exactly the same on the slip cover. Um, no idea why they did the slip covers like that. Ooh, squeaking of the CD to turn it. There's the disc. And. Check out the instructions on this, if I can get them without mangling it. Uh, it looks like I'm not going to be too, su too successful at doing this today. So, a little bit of backstory, still some more backstory and a few things on how to progress. Uh, yep, know how to play, and then some credits. So fairly thin, but all color. I mean, that was that was very nice and, and very unheard of back then was to have an all color instruction manual. Here's one that is going up in price. Yep, I got it. And it did come with the system. Uh, here's the back. And of course, the front and the back match there as well. Ooh. There's the disc, and that classic green, and the manual. I think this, yeah, this is a black and white. Uh, I think they took the extra money they saved for printing this in black and white, and they they turned around and uh, paid some of the Nintendo license. Uh, not a great game, but I have it. It's exceedingly hard to get your hands on, and I'm not looking to get rid of it. Shoot, I'm not looking to get rid of any of my collection at this moment. And here's the next game. Whoa, how did that get there? Um, well, yeah, this is, um, this came with the system too. Yeah. Uh, that's enough said about that. Uh, loving for a lifetime, yeah. Yeah, I was uh, a little shocked when that came with the system, but whatever. Mystic Midway, Rest in Pieces. Uh, this is like this weird, grim style game show where you know, everything is fatal. Of course, so the slipcase is in a little bit of rough shape, but you press on the button and there's the huge book of advertisements. And here is the disc. Unfortunately, no instructions or any other documentation with this copy of the game. And last but not least, Treasures of the Smithsonian. Yeah, another, another education machine because Philips wanted to market this thing as a video game machine and a education machine for kids to be able to do their homework or look things up or you know, any number of nonsense like that and oh wow i forgot the card actually fits very neatly up in here for the registration again more more advertisement um it's the same book every single time and here's the disc 
and you just snap it shut and put the slip cover back on. But that's my entire Philips CDI collection, for better or worse. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.